Today's turning into a lot more exercise than I was expecting. We got so lucky with this storm. We kind of just... This is actually my first time paddle boarding on a river. And for... <laughs> His too. <laughs> We're Jess and Miles. In 2019, we quit our jobs to pursue a dream of long-term travel around the world. After traveling for six months, we were brought back to the U.S. due to COVID-19. We are now back on the road here in the United States. We have spent the last week in the very underrated state of Idaho. We just made our way to Stanley, which is an adorable mountain town in central Idaho with a population of only 63 people. It is surrounded by mountains and the Salmon River runs right through it, so it is unbelievably picturesque and beautiful. We are so excited to be here and have a lot of fun adventures planned for this week. Stanley is known as the gateway to the Sawtooth Mountains and we plan to spend the next few days exploring this area. There are so many fun outdoor adventures to do here. There are hot springs and fishing, hiking, kayaking, paddle boarding, and the list goes on. And we plan to do a handful of these over the next three days and we are kicking it off today with a hike in the Sawtooth Mountains. We're getting started at the Iron Creek Trailhead, which is only 15 minutes from where we're staying in Stanley. And we're headed to Goat Lake Lake, and it's supposed to be one of the prettiest alpine lakes in all of the sawtooths. You do need a permit even for a day hike here in this area and we were able to just fill one out right at the trailhead so that was no issue at all and we've got probably the prettiest weather we've had all week so I'm really excited. It's about 1 30 and the hike is eight miles round trip with a little less than 2,000 feet of elevation gain. It's pretty flat here in the beginning so we're making good progress. So Jess does 100% of the planning 100% of the time, but occasionally she asks for my feedback and I always give it regardless of how much information I actually bring to the table. And today the choice was between Sawtooth Lake and Goat Lake and I made the executive call that we should go to Goat Lake. Hopefully that was the right one. That was some tough competition, but I really don't think you could go wrong with either. We are about a mile in and we are turning left to head towards Marshall Lake. Sawtooth Lake continues on straight. We're going now. So outside of the short four mile hike we did to Goldbug Hot Springs this weekend, it's really been a while since we've done a full long hike. I think the last big one we did was back when we were in Driggs, Idaho. And we have a big 21 mile loop planned for this weekend. So I'm interested to see how our legs do today. So the first couple of miles of this hike are really just through the trees, but we've just come out of the trees to some really impressive views of these mountains. If this is an indication of what's to come, this is gonna be a great hike. So nowhere along this route have we seen anything that says Goat Lake, but I got these directions from a blog post, and this is an important one here. We've just come up to a small trail on our left. Don't go that way. Instead, scramble up the rock band on your right. After the initial climb up the rock band, an obvious trail will appear. We haven't quite made it to the very steep part at the end, so I'm not sure we've made it to that point in the directions just yet. Correction, we were wrong before. We are now at the fork and this is the trail to the left. We're not taking that, we're going right. That looks a lot more like a rock band that we've got to climb over than before. Also for the next 0.3 miles, we're gonna be gaining roughly 700 vertical feet. So here goes nothing. It honestly feels like we're just hiking straight up a washout, but we just came up to a couple of hikers that were on their way down, and they confirmed that we are in fact headed the right way. Three quarters of this hike really isn't bad, but now with this section, I get why this hike is rated as difficult. <laughs> this part is hard. This water is the deepest blue, so beautiful. We're gonna keep making our way around the lake. That is some cold water. 
there. I think we have found our spot to relax and enjoy this incredible view. So we've been fortunate enough to see about a dozen different alpine lakes in the last six weeks, and this is right up there with the best of them. And I can't help but feel like if this was anywhere else, it would be packed with people. We saw just a handful of people on the trail, and now that we're up at the lake, there is no one in sight. We were pretty surprised to learn that outside of 1% of Yellowstone, Idaho doesn't have a national park. But if this lake hike is any indicator of what the sawtooths have to offer, this is just as beautiful as any national park that we've been to yet. It's almost five o'clock, so sadly it's time to head back down. All right, we made it back to the car. It is currently raining, but it is now dinner time. We're gonna make a couple of sandwiches in the back of the car, and we may have one more stop pending the rain. I cannot think of a better way to end a hike than doing what is becoming one of my new favorite things, and that is soaking in a hot spring. <sighs> With a view of the Sawtooth Mountains. I was thinking this hot spring wasn't that warm, but this spot right here is really nice. It is day two and we have come about 10 minutes outside of Stanley to Redfish Lake. We're gonna be renting some kayaks this afternoon. All right, we're out on the lake. We rented these kayaks from the Redfish Lake Lodge for 20 bucks an hour. We went ahead and paid for two hours and our main goal is to get pretty close to the other side of the lake to get some great views up the valley. But this lake is nearly five miles long, so it's gonna be a long paddle today. This is actually the largest alpine lake in the Sawtooth Wilderness and it is definitely a popular spot. It's easy to see why there are amazing mountain views. The water is crystal clear. There are a number of ways to enjoy the lake. You can rent boats, paddle boards, of course kayaks. There's even a beach to hang out and swim. This really is an awesome spot. We're paddling up the east side of the lake and the mountains are coming more and more into view as we make our way around this bend. This has really been a great afternoon out on the lake. I think we've paddled about three miles already and our time is running short, so it's time to head back. We made it, just in time. We're five minutes late. We paddled back so fast. That was a great paddle on the lake, but we're not quite done exploring this area. We've come just up the road to the Redfish Trailhead, and we're gonna be doing a relatively short hike into the Fishhook Meadow. From what I understand, this hike offers a lot of bang for your buck. It's pretty short and flat. It's only about 4.4 miles if we go the whole way, but it should have incredible views. Staying in Stanley has made it so easy to take full advantage of the afternoons. I have been amazed at how much is just within 10 or 15 minutes of where we're staying. To be able to do an eight mile hike yesterday and still have time to stop by a hot spring, and then today to paddle on this lake for probably six or seven miles, finish up and still be able to do what Jess would call an easy hike. Many would call it a four mile day hike. <laughs> it is pretty flat, but really it is incredible how much we're able to fit in just right in the afternoons here. This trail is definitely classified as easy for the record, and I'm still hoping to fit in another hot springs tonight. <laughs> Nine point nine. I questioned whether I should go. Woo! 
We have made it to the meadow, and I think there were a few different times on that trail that Miles was kind of questioning my decision to do this hike. <laughs> we were in the trees for the most part, didn't have a whole lot of a view, but we're here, and what do you think? Definitely worth it? Yeah, I mean, it really opened up, and the view of these yeah. mountains is incredible. I mean, during the hike, you had some long-range views of the mountains, but mostly just trees. Mostly trees. <laughs> and now that we've made it into the meadow along this stream, it is yeah, beautiful. It's so nice. There was no rain in the forecast for this evening, but it is thundering and the clouds are building, so we are going to book it back to the car. Let's go, we gotta go. Today's turning into a lot more exercise than I was expecting. We got so lucky with this storm. We kind of just, it's been thundering a lot, but it never even rained on us. We just kind of followed along beside it. It's a good thing because this thing's nasty. We made it back just in time. It is pouring down rain right now. We didn't get to go to a hot springs last night because of the rain, so we're starting with one this morning. We've come about 15 minutes from our place to the Sunbeam Hot Springs, and it looks like sunrise is definitely the time to come here because every afternoon that we've passed this place, it has been absolutely packed. And right now, we are the only ones here, and it's so cool. The steam is just rising in this valley from the river. It's a little chilly, but I am really excited. Oh! <laughs> That like burns your toes. I, I can definitely see why this is such a popular hot spring. There are several pools. It's the hottest one that we've been to. Honestly, some of these pools are even a little too hot for me. It was really hard to get out of bed this morning, but I'm so glad that we did. The sun is coming up in the valley. The steam is so cool. We've got our coffee. I mean, what else could you want? It's Thursday morning. This is so cool and we're right next to a very fast flowing river that can't be more than 60 degrees. And right now we're sitting in nearly 100 degree water. I mean, it's steaming up the camera right now. Time to go to work. Look how red his stomach is. <laughs> this water is so hot. It's so hot. we're doing before our week is up in Stanley. We are going paddle boarding down the Salmon River. This is actually my first time paddle boarding on a river. And for <laughs> his too. So I've been on one of these in the ocean catching waves before, but I've never gone down a river trying to stand up on one of these things. It is not easy. <laughs> it's time for you to try and stand up between rapids. No problem. You really got to be paying attention through the fast parts. There are a lot of rocks. So we rented these paddle boards from the Sawtooth Adventure Company, I think is the name. And it was $40 per paddle board, and that's for a half day. And then we paid $15 for a one-way shuttle. I believe we're going about six miles down the river, and the guy who we booked with said it should take around two, two and a half hours. It's really more like a float because the river is moving so fast. But you do still need a paddle to keep yourself going straight and to navigate through all the rapids. Uh-oh, I hit another rock. Super shallow waters. Whew. I'm standing on my board. 
It just started raining pretty bad, but we also just happened to come up on Boat Box Hot Springs, which is a very popular hot springs just outside of Stanley. So I think we're going to wait out the rain here. Why not wait out both? That was hail. Hail? I can't think of a better place to wait out a hailstorm than in a hot spring. So here we go. So this is basically like a cauldron. I don't know a better way to explain it. What would you say, a cauldron? Yeah. Like a cauldron on the side of the river. So you can just direct how much hot water you want with this pipe. And then they've got a bucket on the other side that you can grab cold water from the river to get it exactly how you want it. How is it? Perfect. Is it hot? It's hot. Ooh. Do we need river water? <laughs> I'll do the next round. Whew. That should be good, right? Maybe, maybe not. One maybe more. one more. <laughs> it's really hot. I think we got it just right. Between our buckets and the hail, it's cooled off nicely. We got a clearing in the storm. We think. <laughs> it looks like it. This river water is going to be really cold now coming out of this hot spring. <laughs> Off we go! We just looked at a map and we still have 1.7 miles to go. <laughs> Turns out six miles is a lot longer than I was expecting. Especially we, when you stop at a hot spring. Yeah, I mean, we have stopped a few times, but still. We are way behind the two, two and a half hours that we were told this would take. Well, that was a lot of fun, but we're making it to Mormon Bend now and it's time to pull out. They roll up nice and easy. Now it's time to head back. I can't believe this is the first night we've done this. I know. We've also been. <laughs> We've, because the other nights we had trail sandwiches. We have had such an amazing week in Stanley. We managed to fit so much in. Idaho continues to impress us and we have one more big adventure planned for this weekend in the Sawtooths. Nothing but potatoes in Idaho. Mm hmm Secrets out. I think we found our spot to sit and enjoy dinner. Not dinner. Are we not having dinner here? Never mind. It's not dinner time. <laughs> All our food's back in the car. <laughs> it's like also 3.30. <laughs> Ooh, a little hot spark coming off there. <laughs> it's so cold now. <laughs> what else? <laughs>